What's your number one? I that have a feeling we have the exact same one. Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Today, Michaela, we are going to be ranking the top five Spider-Man movie villains. Villains. What's your number five? All right, so I kept seeing this name on a bunch of lists. Mm -hmm. I had to put it at five because I was like, mm. Venom. Like, it's such a creepy, scary, but very cool villain. Like, what do you call him? Like, I feel like he's like an anti-hero of some sort. Like, I don't- Yeah. Honestly, the reason why I didn't put Venom on my list is literally just because he's too scary. Like, <laughs> I like I never saw the Venom movie because it was like- Oh, really? I, I see. Like, I like the- Maybe I just like Tom Hardy. <laughs> Apparently, it's the lips. Apparently, Tom Hardy has just like the best lips. But yeah, also, I do like- They do have similar, like, <laughs> uniforms in a way. In Spider-Man 3, SM3, he's kind of the anti-Spider-Man. Yeah, so it's like they're kind of the inverse of each other, which I, I don't know, I just think aesthetically, I like to see them fight for that reason. I got a little Spider-Man Venom trivia question for you. I don't, I'm not going to answer it correctly. Who played Venom Girl on no clue. in, in Spider-Man 3? Girl on no clue. I'm pretty sure it's Topher Grace. I like being bad. What's your number five? My number five is uh, Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay. Michael Keaton's just the best. Yeah. The movie <laughs> literally starts with like, he's a businessman, he's a dad, he's a family guy, a hardworking blue collar guy. Yeah, blue collar man. We, we always side with the blue collar man. His unit is cleaning up after, you know, Loki and Avengers 1 destroyed everything and they fire him because I'm sure just like union bullshit. I'm all in on this. I could lose my house. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. And it's like, yeah, man, start your own little separate business. And then he, he becomes a thief and he starts, you know, doing like some bad stuff or whatever. But yeah. the entire time, it's like, I totally get what he's doing. He's providing for his family. Also, the vulture has the greatest like reveal when Peter Parker goes to pick up his daughter. You would never be like, well, maybe her dad's the vulture. Yeah, no. But he is. And it's like, surprise. He must be Peter. Yeah. And he's a great father. Plot twist. Plot twist. That's why I do hate some movies. Because the whole point of the villain is you're supposed to be like, bad. Yeah. Or against them. But sometimes they give you too many details and you're like, I feel bad for the guy. And it's like, stop doing that. For superhero movies, the villain just needs to be like, awful. What is your number four? My number four. I'm gonna go with another little heartthrob in the Hollywood world, uh, Mysterio. I love Mysterio because I love the the like I have bamboozled everyone villains mm -hmm. where it's like because everyone was like on his team, right? Like that's kind of how it ended was everyone was like, no, no, he's a good guy. Yeah. Like the public. And I trusted you. I know that's most disappointing part. He fooled everyone to like be the good guy, and that is always like the ultimate like villain mastermind to me. His dying move, he was like, it doesn't matter, I'm out anyway. I'm gonna f over this guy one more time. Mm -hmm. By the way, he's a kid. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. And I don't think in the latest one, nobody ever is like, well, yeah, Mysterio was evil. Yeah, no, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, everyone was just like, we believe this guy, he looks like one of the heroes. But yeah, so that's why I like that villain is because it's like the, when you can pull it off mm -hmm. and everyone in society is like, you're the good guy, you're the ultimate villain. He also has a, a really great, turn again when Peter Parker is like, you know what, you should have the glasses. And he's like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as he leaves, Jake Jolin has the greatest turn ever of like, well, that was easy. Yeah. And then everybody in the bar was an actor. God, my brother literally was like, you just need to watch this one scene. Yeah. It's the greatest, funniest scene ever. What's your number four? My number four is actually, we're taking a, a dive into the cartoon, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, Kingpin. I just love how they portray him. He's just the widest human being alive. That's something that we are kind of missing in like the live action ones is you can, in the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, be like, Kingpin is six feet tall, mm -hmm. nine feet wide. Yeah. His shoulders are wider than the tallest man on earth ever was. Yes. And he's got no neck. He's kind of like this. Yes. Oh, and he's Italian. But Italian. I love the Italian character. Get rid of the body. Kill that guy. It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. Yeah, I like the ones that are like, they're businessmen villains. Yes. What's your number three? So my number three is uh, Vulture. Good. He's just such a good character. He has the thing where it's like, I built the suit, my, my own villain, but I'm still man. I wasn't mm -hmm. bitten by a spider. I don't have any special powers. Yeah. I just have a machine. I love the reveal scene where now Spider-Man's at a moral crossroads. And the second reveal, actually, now that I think about it, like 10 minutes later when he's driving them to the prom, when you realize the vulture knows Peter oh, Parker Spider is Spider-Man. Spider yes. And don't you ever interfere with my business again. Because if you do, I'll kill you and everybody you love. That's probably the scariest moment of that whole movie. Totally. God, that so, movie. So, so good. What's your number three? So my number three is Dr. Otto Octavius, otherwise known as Dr. Octopus, otherwise known as Doc Ock. So this is my number two. Okay, good. Yeah. Can you quote the line from him that I say all the time? Mm, no. Peter Parker. Brilliant, but lazy. 
yeah, I love his arms. Like that's a cool to me like villain mm -hmm. suit. Yeah. He has a lot of purpose. He doesn't really need to walk. He's like, I've got this this new suit that just kind of carries me. I'm a spider. I'm an octopus. Whatever it is. He's also he's another one too where it's like this is another formation of a supervillain where it's a really good guy, really smart guy, but he was taken over. Yes. It's not his fault. These things have turned you into something you're not. It was great in the new one being able to yes. get half a movie of him being like, I'm a good guy with this power. Oh, it's good to see you, dear boy. It's good to see you. Fun fact about the new one, by the way, in the original, all his little arms had to be operated by people. The new one, they just CGI'd it, but. That's more fun. They'll just do everything in camera. Yeah. As much as you can in camera, it's more fun. What's your number two? So my number two, kind of not really a villain, J. Jonah Jameson. Less of a villain, more of a in the Spider-Man universe. Mm -hmm. Easily the funniest character in the Spider-Man universe, mm -hmm. even more than uh, Peter Parker's friend. Mm -hmm. I forget his name. I forget his name too. He is just a journalist who doesn't go with the status quo. And when everybody is like, Spider-Man just saved a school bus full of kids, he's like, what? Caused the city a lot of damage. He's a menace to the entire city. Spider-Man. <laughs> I have to do the impression. It's my favorite impression ever though. Spider-Man, you're a mess. I like that too, because it's like, you know what? That's a really realistic villain is mm -hmm. the media. And Spider-Man works for him. A crap, 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 mega crap. He's constantly bashing on him and Spider-Man has to take his own pictures. What's your number one? I that have a feeling we have the exact same one. Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one, one. Green, Green Goblin. Goblin. Yeah, of course. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe is just the best. <laughs> you just can't beat him as a villain. Like, are you kidding me? If it weren't for Keith Ledger and the Joker, I think he is- His number one villain. By far number one. Yeah. He's so by far the best that in the new one, they're like, you're the main villain again. Yeah. Because you're just that you're good. You're just that good. It's one of the like most like incredible performances, I think. Is there a better natural villain actor than a guy who can just, without any makeup, anything, just make the yeah. face? Yeah, the crazy faces. But he also, and no offense to William Dafoe, looks scary. Yeah. Like he's a scary looking guy. Yeah. Just one of the scariest scenes I ever watched as a kid was when he's looking in the mirror mm -hmm. and uh, you know his true self is like, you killed them. We killed them. Like it's yeah. just so good. It's so good. My God, that movie started it all. Yeah, he's just he's just the best. He really is just the best. And I think there's not really much more we can say about that. Well, there you have it. There's our list for our favorite Spider-Man universe movie villains. If you miss any of your favorites, let us know in the comments. And as always, make sure you head over to Ranker.com to just vote on all of the different Spider-Man rankings. They have a ton of villain rankings yeah. that you guys just have to check out. Cool. Cool. Have let us have a, have a Spidey, Spidey day. Have a Spidey day.